go, my eyes. Ever get this done? Having trouble, farmer. Rose? Is that you? It is. My daughter, my child! I can scarcely believe it! You are a little confused. I've been longing to speak to you again. I've never spoken to you before. Rose, Rose, do not jest with your father and his failing eyes. Um, very well. It is good to see you again. Such a pleasure to have you at my side, Rose. But I'm so tired, so very tired. I cannot move these crates to shelter. Yes, Rose, right there. You were always a very clever child. Put the others there as well.
you've grown up to be quite strong. That's the last of them. Come join me, Rose. It's been ages since we had a chat. Rose, you're such a help. Let us reminisce, shall we? The tale of how I courted your mother. Why not? You never tire of that one. Well, as a young man, I was sent to a great lord to help with his livestock. That first day, I brought the cows in from the field, and there was this milkmaid. Her smile like sunshine in a storm. I fancied her. She fancied me. We found our way to a storeroom to make better acquaintance. And then? <clears throat> what? Oh, uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, what, what was I saying? Ah, your mother and I in the storeroom. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, the Lord wandered in and caught us making merry. He fell into a dark rage and raised his axe and me wearing nothing but a smile. Your mother had a quick wit. Why, master, she said, this boy can fetch you more milk than you'd ever have use for. Well, the Lord liked his milk, so says he, bring me this milk, and perhaps I'll show mercy. We threw in our smocks and ran for the cow pen, milked the cows in a frenzy, and carried back two buckets. The Lord spooned off some cream to taste. Satisfied, he had his servant set the milk in the shade and declared more. In a thrice, master, your mother said, and we ran outside. How will we get more, I asked. The cows are spent. I must know what happened. <laughs> yes. Oh. <clears throat> well, the cows are spent. Your mother bade me not to be a ninny. She led me in a circle back to the buckets in the shade. We'll bring him these again and call them new. So we brought the master the same milk again. Again he was pleased. Again he asked for more. And again we circled around. Soon the master had ten buckets by his count. So he gave us his blessing. We ran for the stables, stole a horse, and never looked back. Not long after, you were born. The pinkest little babe a father could hope for. We named you Rose. After the cow. That reminds me. Your mother's ring. She wanted you to have it. Here. I... I do not know what to say. You should keep it to remember, Mother. Such a sweet girl. I'll bequeath it to you when the time comes. I must go, Father. Take care. Such a delight to see you, Rose. Come back soon.
yelling at? I see no one. My brother. He's right in there. A goblin turned him into a fish. A goblin turned him into a fish. He won't come out of the water to do his chores. Mom's gonna be so angry. Oh, whatever will I do? I've got to get him out of that pond. It won't be easy. He's mean and slippery. Spoiling with them. Come now, you little scared cowards. Come on, my lion. Just a regular fish. Walter, you are gonna be in so much trouble when Mom hears about this. She told you not to talk to goblins. Come now, you little scaled cowards. Pull on my line. I'm not convinced at all that your brother is under a goblin's spell. Keep fishing! Just a regular fish. I've got treats for you, Walter. Worms and such. Your brother looks pretty healthy for a fish. We thought it would be fun to get someone else to do the fishing for us. So you fooled me. And it worked. If you like, you could leave us the fish anyway. We'll swap them for brittle at the market. Walter, we got the fish! Thank you, stranger!
gentle with this one. Yeah! You look great! We bring Christ's mercy! Your time is come. Strike with me. Must be blood. Get back here. Keep your eyes open.
<laughs> Look at you, face like a stuffed beaver. What quarrel have you with me? None. I am but an observer of your sparrow-like weakness, and I wish to make it known in verse. Flighting, then. You understand. I will take you on. Happy to bet. Let us begin on your work. I hope you're ready. Would you battle a dragon? Then challenge me not. Oh, you're barely an insect. A fly that I'll swat. Good! Keep it coming! I'm possessed of a strength that would scare off a bear. You're possessed of a baldness that scared off your hair. Great! I've the heart of a lion, the loins of a horse. You've the brain of a donkey to challenge a Norse. A good one, that! Let me end now by saying you think you're a beast. You declare you're the most, but I've found you're the least. Huh. Sharp as an eagle's talons. You've earned your winnings today.
Is that a bottomless stomach, I see? Drink faster than me, you win the purse. Bring forth your coin. Let's sweeten the pot. Bet in the whole hoard, huh? We drink! Kissing a flagstone soon. <coughs> Staggering already? Together, lads, we have this.
spread out. We have this. Fast. Watch my lead.
the advantage.
Leatherlands. This land bears deep ablation. across seas and fjords. Well, a long way from home, Norseman. Uh, I may be, <laughs> but my sixty winters have not slaked my taste for raiding. And I have the finest crew on the sea. You have no crew. Do you not see them? Stout fellows all. And you, make yourself useful and help prepare the ship, friend. Yes! Bring ore! We'll need to repair weapons and shields. But you have no blacksmith. Ah, nonsense! Black Bjorn is about somewhere. He's our man. There's no end of preparations we must do. Start where you will. Arrows! Bring as many as you can. <laughs> Imagine the terror in our enemy's eyes when a hail of arrows falls from the blue. Alvar is an old fool trying to live his dream. But Fish, when should we bring in bring the them harvest? along. We'll have no time to catch more, what with all the pillaging. The crew will be wanting a nice meal. A crew of two, it seems. We're ready to launch out on the roiling sea. Summon Scott, Canute, and the rest of the crew. Blow your horn! Time has come for him. Uh, that 
was a battle for the ages, that was. <laughs> You're lucky to still be alive. The crew fought like heroes. No Saxons survived, just like the old days. Friend, there was no crew. Only you and me. Your Saxons were but mangy wolves. No. Bjorn scarred. They were all here, fighting at my side. <laughs> Just as they did in the raids of yore. Gone now. Today you lit their shades on a ghost ship. Your raiding days are done. Your crew feasts in Valhalla. Well, can it, can it, can it be? Hmm. And if so, it was worth it. One last raid. Thank you, my friend. husband calmed down yet? It's soon time to bring in the harvest. Stay sharp. Hey! Don't get in the way. 